Okay, so we're here with Jeff Jerome at the site of Poe, Maria and Virginia's burial place, their current grave. Um, and I want to ask Jeff if he can tell us just a very short snippet about his history with Poe and why, why you began to research Poe. Well, actually, my interest in Poe uh, began with the old Vincent Price, Roger Corman films. Oh, yes. I was a wee little lad when I saw these, these films. Fun. And actually, I was too young to see them because they had a rating system. You had to be over 12 yeah. to be allowed in the theater because they were so spooky and scary. And I would sneak in the side door. Don't yeah. tell anybody that shit, okay? But I would sneak in the side door, and there I would see Vincent Price up on the big screen. That was my first introduction to Poe. So, uh, but after that, I really didn't pursue it. I knew about Poe. I knew that it's great was here. But it wasn't until the 19, early 1970s that Poe discovered me. I started volunteering here as a tour guide, and I got hooked. Poe reached out from the grave so and grabbed you. me <laughs> and said, you Sucked are going you to do this, you know? So, in a, really in a nutshell, that's how I became interested in Poe. Wow. And uh, uh, at that time, the Poe House was managed by the Poe Society. Yes. And they really couldn't keep it up because they were dwindling in attendance, no money. So the city of Baltimore came along and invested close to $100,000 in renovating the Poe House. And they wow. offered me the job as the first curator Woo. because of my knowledge and skills here. Fantastic. So I jumped at the chance. So it what is, uh, what's your favorite Poe work, poem or short story? Well, you know, I ask people that all the time. I know, people ask and me people all the time. And people ask too. me all the time. And it's, it, it's not an easy question. My, my favorite tales, in no particular order, would be Berenice, mm -hmm. the story that he wrote right here in Baltimore. Uh, the Cask of Amontillado, mm -hmm. oh, Thousand Injuries oh, who, of yeah, Fortunato. Who doesn't love yeah. that one? Uh, the Mask of the Red Death, The Fall of the House of Usher. Um, so those are my top favorites, but that's not to denigrate the other stories. Right. Uh, but it seems like every time I read a post story again, something jumps out at me that I didn't <laughs> see before. I, I didn't see that before. Yeah. It, it's really amazing. Uh, but for poems, um, I, I guess. The usual, the mm. bells, the raven, Annabelle. Well, Lee. that's why they're known because yeah. you know they're great. They're great pieces of work. Yes, so. yes. Last question: If you had thirty seconds in front of Poe right now to say whatever you wanted to say to him, only thirty seconds, what would you say to Poe? Now that's a question no one has ever asked me before, <laughs> so I'm not ready for an oh. answer. Oh, there's. I mean, it's so much. There is so much, but you only have thirty seconds. Uh, so what? What would you? What would? What comes to your mind immediately? <laughs> Nothing. I know, My lines are blank. Um, maybe, would you, maybe you would just stare at him and just be I, like I, in awe. Well, That's you know, what I when do. I met Vincent Price, you I Vincent I stood Price. and stared at him. Oh wow! And he sensed my nervousness, and he said, "Have you ever made bread?" I said, "Huh?" And that was his way of breaking the ice. And after five minutes, we were like the best of friends talking. He sensed wow. my nervousness. That's so amazing. if I met Poe for the first mm -hmm. time, I would give him a big hug.